Welcome back to Wake Up America. President Trump and Vice President Harris going head to head, holding events in Pennsylvania yesterday. Here to break it all down for us is former White House advisor for the Trump administration and host of the Gorka Reality Check, Dr. Sebastian Gorka. Good morning. Thanks for waking up early with us. Uh, I want you to take a listen to Kamala Harris in Pennsylvania yesterday saying it's time for America to turn the page. Well, folks, it's time to turn the page. <laughs> Because America is ready to chart a new way forward. Turn the page, a new way forward. She's been vice president for the last four years. Does she actually think that this narrative turning the page makes any sense to voters? Well, to those voters who don't know that she is the vice president, <laughs> yes. And on top of that, I mean, who writes these scripts? We, we know she can't function extemporaneously. If she doesn't have text and teleprompter, it's a complete utter disaster. But who's putting the text and the teleprompter that turn the page or from the DNC that we're starting a new chapter? She just gave two interviews where she was asked, what would you do differently from the last four years of your time in the White House? And then she paused as if she wasn't prepared for that question, which in and of itself is stunning. And she said, uh, nothing. Yeah. So, so what exactly are you turning the page on, Kamala, if you're going to give us more inflation, more illegals, uh, more wars across the world? This is, this is how bad her campaign is, and that's why it's cratering, as we see. Yeah, I don't think she knows what she would, what turning the page even means. Uh, you know, you have to wonder what's going on behind the scenes with their communications team. I mean, it's got to be a mess. Um, but the latest Quinnipiac poll currently has Harris with a three-point lead over President Trump. But things are trending in the right direction for the former president. The latest Emerson poll has Trump leading by one point in Pennsylvania. So obviously, we all know it's a tight race. We see all these different polls come out. Um, how does President Trump move the needle over the next three weeks to make sure he not only wins Pennsylvania, but these other states? Great question. It, it goes back to his first tweet uh, back on X the day he did that incredible two hour. It wasn't even an interview. It was like this completely blue sky two hour discussion with Elon Musk. If you go back to that, listen to the to the discussion. Fascinating in and of itself. I can't wait for the Joe Rogan interview, which mm. is meant to be imminent with President Trump. But that day, before the discussion with Elon, the, the spaces, the Twitter spaces, President Trump reposted a phrase from the Reagan campaign. And it's everything you need to know in one sentence. Are you better off than you were four years ago? I mean, for those who live in the real world, those who aren't part of the bi-coastal elite, who aren't affected by the price of gas or inflation, the people who live in the real world, working Americans, if you want gas not to triple in price, mm -hmm. but to quadruple in price, if you want more war wars around the world, if 20 million illegals weren't enough for you, vote. Vote for Kamala Trump. If you want, look, look the thing about President Trump uh, that the left will never understand. I worked for him in the White House. I can attest to this. I'll swear on a stack of Bibles. President Trump wants you as an American, irrespective of what political identity you have, to prosper and to be safe. Whether you're a Democrat, a Republican, a Libertarian, Independent, he wants your family mm -hmm. not to be at the mercy of, you know, Tren de Aragua. And he wants the economy to be the biggest it's ever been as it was when we were in the White House. Yeah. That's the only thing President Trump has to do is to get that message of prosperity and safety to the, those who are on the fence. Imagine that, prosperity and safety. I think that's something everyone can agree that we all want.